All right, guys, so today we're gonna to be looking at the Yellow Jacket Digital Torque Wrench, uh, number 60648. Um, it's especially critical if you're doing um, any amount of uh, work that requires flare nuts, such as mini splits or VRV slash VRF, um, that you have a good torque wrench. Um, the nice thing about this particular torque wrench is it's adjustable, um, therefore, uh, you don't have to carry around a bunch of wrenches. You get one really nice wrench in a case. Um, it's digital, so it'll actually beep at you whenever you reach the proper torque, spedding, uh, torque setting, I should say. So whenever you turn it on, it's immediately going to show you the first setting that you have set. So what I've done with mine is um, I've gone through, for all the most common flare sizes, I've um, input a predetermined value. So that's going to be specified by each manufacturer but they're all going to be pretty close to the same so for instance 12.7 foot pounds would fall under the range of a quarter inch flare nut um, so i hear a lot of guys uh, really dogging flares um, and for good reason um, it's one of those things that if you're not doing it all the time um, it can be frustrating to say the least so i ask guys all the time like what what's your issue with flares um, and what they always come back with is well they leak okay so if you have a flare that's leaking, um, there's something in your process that you're not doing right. Uh, so sometimes we have to kind of take a step back and humble ourselves and figure out what we're doing wrong. Um, so the biggest thing is a lot of guys aren't using flaring gauges. So a flare gauge kind of keeps you honest. Um, even if you have the cheapest um, flare set in the world, like myself, I've got like a JB that I got from a pawn shop probably eight or nine years ago. But the thing still works. Um, but no, no matter how many flares I've made in my life, um, each flare I'm gonna check it with a flare gauge. And so all that the flare gauge is, it just checks to make sure that the flare is the right size. It's not too big, it's not too small. Um, if it's you know too small, then it would just slide right through this hole here. So you wanna have a nice flare to start with. Um, after that, one of the biggest mistakes I make is forgetting to put the flare on in the first place, right? So always make sure that the flare um, nut is obviously on before you make the flare because you know for good reason it won't um, go back over the actual flare that you made there um, a lot of guys tend to put the um, you know additives whether it be nylog or or maybe those little um, plastic coated flare washers in between um, the flare surface and the um, actual um, device that they're flaring to whether it be an indoor unit or a mechanical fitting whatever it might be so for this demonstration, I just have um, just a swivel tee quarter inch and a quarter inch flare nut. Um, went through and flared a little piece of copper. So anytime that you um, complete your flare, you wanna make sure that there's no cracks, no burrs or anything. And that's another thing I should mention. Whenever you are making your flares, as soon as you make that cut, before you actually put the flare tool on it, you wanna make sure that you have a good um, deburring tool. And so whenever you're deburring this copper, you're not thinning out the walls of the copper. All you're trying to do is just knock off that rough edge. Okay, and get it back square again. So we've got our um, our torque, torque wrench fired up. Um, we'll go ahead and start tightening our nut down a little bit. So, you know, a lot of times you might think that the, um, the nut is tighter than what it is, and that's why we have this um, torque wrench here to kind of tell us exactly where we are, because it's easy to kind of overestimate um, a lot of guys are scared that they might crack the brass or something such as that. So whenever we um, put our torque wrench on here, you want to make sure that it's nice and snug um, so that there's not any slop. Because if there's any amount of slop, then it's obviously going to change on the torque value. Another thing that's very important is to make sure that you don't cross thread the flare nut. If you cross thread that flare nut, then that's obviously going to throw your torque value off as well. So whenever we start to crank on this thing, you can kind of start to see that it starts to give you a little bit of a readout to show you where you're at. You can see it's steadily climbing. So I'm going to reset here. Continue to crank on it. Notice we got like a little nice little uh, green light up indication there. And if I just was using two six inch uh, crescent wrenches to make that, um, that flare nut installation there, um, I definitely wouldn't have gotten it that tight because, um, you know, I felt like it was good enough. Um, so that torque wrench is really going to help you out making quality flares. Um, 
like I said, extremely essential if you're doing mini split work, VRF work, anything like that. Um, so I think this is a worthy tool, worth you checking out. It's definitely worth having on the truck as opposed to four or five different um, torque wrenches. Um, or even the, uh, the torque wrenches that have the removable heads. You know, it's just one more thing to keep up with. Um, so this is a really nice tool. Um, definitely recommend it. Um, if you like this video, uh, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.